Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the steps to upgrade a device already running Windows 10 to Windows 11 using Windows Update. Windows 11 will begin rolling out slowly starting October 5th as a free upgrade on devices that meet the minimum system requirements, starting with computers that have newer hardware and then in the weeks and months ahead Microsoft will expand the new version more broadly. Although it is recommended to wait a few monthly updates before upgrading to avoid possible problems, you can force the Windows update installation through the settings app. So here is how to upgrade Windows 10 to Windows 11 using Windows Update. First, make sure to back up your computer and or data just in case. I will be leaving a link in the video description to another video to complete this task. Then you can proceed with the upgrade. And to do that, open Start and then open the Settings app. Then go to Update and Security. And then on Windows Update, if your computer is compatible with Windows 11, you will get this notification. And here's the thing, if you're not ready to upgrade to Windows 11, you can click the State on Windows 10 for now option. And instead of getting Windows Update, you will be offered the Windows 10 21 H2 update when available. If you don't see the notification, click the check for updates button in my trigger it, and you can continue with the upgrade. So once you're ready, simply click the download and install button. Read and accept the agreement. And now the new version of Windows will download and install on the computer. And once you're ready to upgrade Windows 10 to Windows 11, simply click the Restart Now button. During the restart, the installation will take place and it will upgrade the system. And you will not have to go through the out of box experience because this is an upgrade and all the settings and files will migrate over the new installation. And that's it. We just upgraded Windows 10 to Windows 11 using the recommended Windows update process. If things are not working as you expected, you can always revert the changes and go back to Windows 10 by opening the settings and then go to recovery. And in here, click the go back button, select any reason, click next, no thanks, click next but make sure to read the information before proceeding. Make sure that you have the password if you changed it and it was different on Windows 10 and then click next. And once you're ready, click the go back to Windows 10 button to begin the uninstallation process. Although using Windows Update to upgrade to Windows 11 will not delete your files, it is always recommended to back up your files because you don't know what could happen and you don't want to be sorry. So make sure to back up your data and then if something happens, you can restore those files easily. The time to complete the upgrade will depend on your internet connection and hardware configuration. But in this particular case, it took about an hour. It usually doesn't take that long to upgrade from feature update to feature update, but this one in particular, it took that long. So make sure to have some time to go through the update process. The download side, I don't know actually the, the total amount, but it's usually between four to five gigs that Windows have to download to go through the process. And that's it. That's how you upgrade your system using the Windows update settings. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.